So my kid's joining band, which I'm so excited about. I'm like ecstatic, okay, on Cloud9 about it. I am so- he's amped, I'm amped. Eli's amped, everybody's amped about the band thing. And you know, I shouldn't have been surprised that, uh, you know, he started to show an interest in it. Like music in general. Cause for one, my dad's a musician. See this dude headbanging on stage? That's my father. And just while we're on this subject, okay, just because I always get comments on my accent, and if you think I have an accent, you wouldn't even be able to understand my father. I get comments like, you know, why do you have such an exaggerated accent in these videos? I always have an accent, just sometimes I sound like a mob boss, sometimes I sound like Lois. We've been through this. This is my son and my dad, they just got done setting up a guitar, and you know, they're cleaning it a little. But well, let me tell you something, there's another reason why I shouldn't have been surprised that my son has, like, this interest in music, okay? So my kid, you know, he has, like, an annual IEP meeting. And now, like, it's routine, we've been to so many. But I used to get so nervous at these meetings. Like, at the time, I had anxiety in general, uh, being in the public. But, like, uh, to be in a room with tons of adults, all eyes on you, they're talking about your kid. What if they're judging your parenting? What if they don't think you're competent? What if you say the wrong thing? What if you don't advocate well enough? I was always, like, so nervous, especially going into my first one. Well, I guess technically it wasn't, like, my first one because he had, like, an intake one. But this was the first IEP meeting where, like, they actually had spent time with my son. They got to know him. Like, we'd really have a lot to talk about. And I was nervous. And I'll never forget. <laughs> I wasn't nervous for too long um, because the two main uh, pieces of information that I got from that meeting was that my son hated Spanish class, but he loved Queen. <laughs> so then, right, my mom, she's really into, like, those uh, crime shows, like, English crime shows on BBC and stuff. And one of them had the Bicycle Race song by Queen as a theme song. I can't remember which one. When that would come on, everybody in the house had to shut the hell up. And if you didn't, he would make you rewind it. He'd tell you, replay it. He wanted to hear it. That was his moment. We would literally have to, like, rewind it, replay to make sure he heard the whole thing with nobody talking. And then, down the road, this is, like, a couple years later, he has, like, kind of, like, a lot of new people on his team at school, you know? So we have another meeting, <laughs> and they were like, you know, it's such a pleasure to work with him, he's such an awesome kid, but it can be really hard to motivate him, which is true. And they're like... The way we've learned to motivate him is if we play Queen. <laughs> so yeah, my kid just really loves Queen. And I know I'm gonna get comments, I know it, like, oh, shit, <laughs> of course your kid likes Queen. Listen, nobody has to be pressured into liking Freddie Mercury. You just got shitty taste in music.